I finally made the uh, step up to uh, bigger lipos. I'm currently charging the 16,000, but it took me a little bit to figure this out and uh, had to go way back to high school days to do some math. But as far as I can tell, I'm getting 50 watts per channel out of here. So if my math is right or wrong, um, I ended up doing 50, let's do 50, and we're going to divide that by the voltage pack, which is 14.8, 14.8 equals 3.37, let's call it a 3, and then I'm getting, uh, clear that out, I'm getting 16,000, and I'm going to divide that by the 3.3, but I'm just going to go by 3. Alright, so that's an easy division. So, based on my math, this is telling me 5.3 hours to charge this one LiPo. And I am um, already, I think I had 35% remaining. I've been charging an hour and 10 minutes. I'm approaching 8,500, and uh, if it is putting out, let's clear that, if it is putting out 80 watts, so let's do 80, divide that by the 14.8, that's going to equal 5.4, let's call it a 5, so if we clear that, let's get 16,000, Divide that by 5. That's uh, easy. So that's 3. So am I closer to 3 hours? We'll see. But um, the 3 hour mark, we're about an hour away. And that should put me up at about, uh, let's see, 16,000 times... Minus equals, that leaves me at about 12,800, which should be the 100% charge mark if I had 20%, 25%, but I had more than that. So, but anyway, this seems to be working. Um, you need to get into your user setup programs in here. You need to go to your user setup programs. Let me get over here. There he is, user setup program. in the uh, user setup program using the uh, increase arrow let me get back to it right there this will be the first step the lipo and then hit the next step up you are looking for the safety timer and you need to turn it off hit start once turn it off and uh, you need to mind, I don't know if I'm doing this right or wrong, but uh, somebody can comment. Uh, once you turn the safety off, you can, uh, you're going to have to monitor the battery and just make sure that, uh, uh, that everything's working properly. It's not overheating. And the cutoff, the capacity cutoff, I changed it and hit start once. It's on there. Hit start again, and here, hit the increase button, hold it down, and it will go all the way to 16,000 and higher. But that's where I, there's 15,950. That's where I put this at at 16,000. And then you can hit 
start, now everything is burned in the memory. And there's also a feature that you can save it, store it, those aspects just for this channel. So that seems to be working. We'll find out. I've got an hour and 15 minutes going. And uh, let's see how long it takes. And then I'm going to take this for a flight and see what, uh, what kind of flying time I get. Anyway, guys, hopefully this helps somebody out. All right, guys, looks like, uh, looks like we're done. Uh, 129 minutes. And it only took in 8,600. So maybe I had a lot more in the tank than I, than I thought, but I, I thought it was about 35% reserve when I flew it last, but I did not charge it this way, this sequence that I used. Um, but let's see if that works. So we're at the correct voltage. It's reading full, obviously. And it accepted 8,600 milliamps. So we'll see if... Uh, how much airtime I got out of here and, and I flew it the other day and I've got, ah, hell, I wrote it down there somewhere. But anyway, those are my steps and um, everything is nice and cool. Battery's cool. Charger's cool. External power supply is cool. Everything's working fine. So we'll see how it goes. I'll let you guys know what kind of um, flight time I'm getting out of this uh, Multistar 4S 16,000 milliamp battery. Alright guys, peace.